Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Y'all, I come out here and look at these beautiful flowers. Tim bought this for me two years ago, and it has just filled out so beautiful. Look at them just a shine. And I just wanted to show you what I had going on this morning. Now I got to get my butt up off this ground. I'll talk to y'all later. Y'all, good morning. We are in Vologus. Can you re just, oh gosh, we're in Vologus, y'all. Man, I didn't even realize it yesterday. I posted the video and didn't even say anything about Vologus. Man, oh man, can we do it? Can we do a whole solid month? What are we going to talk about for a whole month every single day? <laughs> this is going to be a big old challenge for a bunch of us. Do you understand? <laughs> Y'all, it's hard for me to put videos out on the weekends. It is really hard. I'm going to try. It might not make much sense at all, but I'll try. Anyway, y'all know I love to talk. Tim says I'm long-winded as crap, but I don't care. <laughs> I love to talk. If y'all ever met me in person at a shindig, hoot nanny, whatever kind of uh, get-together, y'all would find out once you got to know me, I love to talk. And I love to joke around and just have a good old time. I'm on the road this morning, driving uh, the old Camry this morning. And I gotta look out for the birds. I'm about to run over a bird in the road. Anyway, I gotta go pick up something that uh, Tim had ordered so we can get to work on this pig cooker. I'm so ready to get this pig cooker out of the yard, which I say that all the time. Once I get one started, I'm ready for it to be gone. So, anyway, um, we've got a bunch of rain coming in tonight. Uh, it's supposed to be. 80% today, 70% tomorrow. So I'm having to hurry up and go get what I gotta get done this morning before that rain gets here. <clears throat> because y'all know my babies in the house. Sadie and Ruby, they get so scared of the rain. I mean, it can just be a little light shower and they just go nuts. They are so scared of the rain. So anyhow, um, I'm going to do another video. I'm going to put this one out in a little while once I get all my errands done. And I'm going to put this one up. And then I have another. I'm going to have a bonus video today. A bonus and I'm always a day late and $20 short. <laughs> but y'all will understand that when you see the next video, why I'm saying I'm a day late. It, it never fails. I, I, I committed to something and I totally forgot about it. And I went and made Tim some chicken salad. And I have to use regular sweet relish pickles for his chicken salad. And I allot myself to eat some. And I might not get to do that now. So I don't have a lot of plans for today. I have no canning to do today. Um, I've canned out of pretty much everything that I needed to can that was in the house. I went through my freezer to see if there was anything. And nothing pressing to can out of there. I've got in my freezer, I have some meat-wise. I have some pork ribs in there, some ribeye steaks in there, some chicken legs in there, so I won't be canning any of that. So now my focus is to start watching for reduced meat and grab that and can it. And also, I'm looking for some pork loin and cut it up and throw it in some jars and can it. But I gotta go on search and get some more jars. I went looking through yesterday. Tim had me looking through 
the house for a particular tool that he cannot find, and, and I argue with him about this crap all the time. You need to get more organized. It's ridiculous. He has tools in the barn, in his car, now in the truck that he's finally put on the road. He's starting to put tools in there and in the house. They're scattered everywhere. Sometimes I wish he was more like my dad. And, and Tim's going to see this. And he, and I, you know, I don't care, Tim. You, you got to know. You got to know. Um, you got to get organized, buddy. And of course, he's going to say, You put me under the rug. It is what it is. We all have our faults. I have a lot of faults. I don't even want to get in them. But anyhow, I really wish that we could get more organized with Tim's tools. And when he asks for a tool, we know right where to go get it. Y'all, he had put his Dodge truck on the road the other day. He drove it to work two days. When he come home, day before yesterday, just as soon as he got in the yard and got it parked, it was overheating. Well, the hose broke to the radiator. So I, I just thank the Lord that he made it home. Well, when he went to work yesterday, he stopped at the part store and got the hose and he come home he actually was in the yard putting the hose on and I didn't even know he was here y'all I was about to fall asleep in the chair anyway um, so he got the hose put back on and he drove it to work today and today is his last day at the job that he's been at he's moving on y'all he's moving on so I hope and pray this next job he will be okay at. He's he's struggling, y'all. And I'm not talking about struggling with his job. He's struggling with his body. Um, if y'all can say a prayer for the man, I'd greatly appreciate it. Because we all need prayer. We all need to say a prayer for everybody. Because I'm telling you. He's, he's got problems his ankles swollen. He come home with his ankles swollen yesterday. His ankles hurting. His knees always hurt. He just hurts every single day. Um, I mean, back in, I think it was 90, it was before Tim and I got together, so I can't get my, my the year correct, but I think it was back in 90. The man got hit by two 18-wheeler trucks. The man doesn't understand that he was left on this earth for a purpose. God had a reason for that man to still be on this earth. Maybe it was to meet me and to take care of me. Who knows? But he does. That man takes care of me. He hurts every single day. But he goes out and works for me. And he takes care of his family. Anyway, he'll say, oh, you're crying, you're crying. Cried anything, y'all. God help him. But anyway, the Lord had a reason for him to be on this earth. For him to get hit by two 18-wheeler trucks and survive. They had to cut him out of that car. And, and I truly wish that I had known him back then. And if I had known him back then... And the lawyers that they have going around now talking about what they could do and would have been back then, Tim wouldn't have had to worry about working. Tim wouldn't have had to worry about struggling. We could be living off grid quite well. He got screwed when he went and the lawyers took care of what they had to take care of because he shouldn't have had to work for nothing. I truly wish that he could hire another lawyer and go back and redo it all now. But I know you can't. But I wish he could because he shouldn't have to work after what happened with that wreck. Anyway. Yay, Vlogist! What am I going to talk about tomorrow? <laughs> I'll try not to bore y'all. 
I'll really try not, but I can't promise you that I will not bore you for talking about something every single day. I honestly, I hope y'all won't mind. Y'all know dogs are my life. They're my kids. They're my four-legged youngins, and I love them, and I spoil them. I hope y'all won't mind if I'll pop a picture or two in the uh, mix. I mean, I may or may not. I'm just saying. So, my key towers out there. Oh, and Grampy Campy, shout out to you, buddy. Congratulations on hitting over your 1,000 mark. I really appreciate you. I've had so much going on here, and, and I ought to be ashamed of myself. You have been shouting out so many channels, and you've shouted out mine, and I, I'm so appreciative. Thank you so much for the shout out. If we'd have more people do what you have done, we all would grow so much quicker. And, and I just thank you. I'm so excited, and I haven't posted it anywhere. I finally got over the 600 mark. Finally. You know, when you hit it 600, you're scared to even say anything because, you know, it's going to go away. Well, I'm finally over it. I can't remember. I think I looked yesterday and it was like 613. Hallelujah. Phew, I might get to that 1,000 soon. <laughs> but Grampy Campy, y'all, if y'all don't have him already as a subscriber, or if y'all have not already subscribed to Grampy Campy, go check his channel out. He's so humble in what he does. He gets out there and he walks around and talks and he gets up there and cooks, and he does keto occasionally. <laughs> but anyway, um, he has a wonderful family. His wife uh, needs prayers. That whole family needs prayers. Um, she's dealing with a battle. And um, check him out. Pray for him. If y'all pray, it works, y'all. Prayer works. God listens. And he answers it in his own time. So you have to remember that. And um, Grampy Campy, you know, had a good video yesterday. And he was talking about what the, God, what, um, the Lord has really been talking to him about. And you really need to listen because it's coming. It really is coming. But anyway, I wanted to give you a big old shout out, Grampy. And uh, good luck on 2000. I'm ready for 1,000. <laughs> oh, they're mowing the road, y'all. Can you see the tractor? <laughs> we need them to mow the roads. The grass is too high. Alright y'all, I'm going to get off of here. I have got to uh, check out my navigation because I'm not really for sure where this place is at that I'm supposed to go. So I'm going to get off here and let my phone do its job. Y'all have an awesome Friday. This is August the 2nd, the longest. Y'all have a wonderful day. Y'all be safe in what you do. Say a prayer for somebody. Please be kind and help somebody if they need it. Love y'all. See you later. Bye now.